Jason, how was your sleep last night? It was all right. Do you think you got eight hours of sleep? Uh, probably like seven and a half or something like that, but yeah, okay. not too bad. That's actually pretty good. So the reason I say that is because Americans are getting less sleep and are more stressed. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely unbelievable. I'd, I'd be more surprised if you said the opposite. We're like, oh, you know, people are getting the best sleep of their life right now. I'm like, I don't know. The yeah. study's messed up. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, it'd be shocking if it was the opposite. The other thing uh, with this, too, is that women, particularly those under the age of 50, reported sleeping less than they need and higher stress levels than men. Hmm. And the thing is that... This is all coming from a poll because the thing is, for the first time in Gallup polling uh, since 2001, a majority of U.S. adults, 57 percent, say they would feel better if they got more sleep, while 42 percent mm. say they get as much sleep as they need. This is mm. uh, uh, this is nearly a reversal of figures that. Um, last measured in 2013, uh, when 56% of Americans got the sleep they needed and 43% did not. So it is pretty interesting that this is like before we, we were saying that we got a lot more sleep than we do mm -hmm. now. But I can see that happening. There's a lot of stuff that has happened over the last few years. Yeah. I mean, the thing is that they say as much sleep as they need. The thing is that that doesn't mean that they're well rested. Think about it that way. They're like, oh, you know, like I got enough sleep. And it's like, but was it good sleep? Was it like, do you feel well rested? It's like, well, I got enough. Like, I'm surviving, you know? That is true. That is true. I have a couple more things to say. But before that, if you like interesting content like this, consider subscribing. We put out interesting videos daily. We have a library of over 400 videos. And the thing is, subscribing is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it does really help out the channel. So consider subscribing. So, yeah, so the thing is, Americans' perception that they aren't getting enough sleep is borne out by the diminished number of hours of sleep they reported getting mm. per night. I can tell you for a fact that I do not get um, a full eight hours or even sometimes seven hours of sleep. I believe that. I mean, I think my, my thought on this whole thing is that I feel like people are working a lot more. Mm. And to get back hours that they're like of their personal life, they stay up later. That is true. There was this thing called uh, revenge sleep, mm -hmm. um, which yeah. which people wanted to stay up even later to make up um, the time that they had uh, lost either by working or doing mm. other things. Um, but yes, that like I remember that was a thing. Uh, so the thing is, uh, these differences in average sleep reflect substantial changes over time in the percentage of U.S. adults sleeping eight or more versus five hours or less per night. In 1942, 59% um, were getting eight plus hours of sleep while only three percent reported getting five hours or less by 1990 five hours less Jeez. yeah it's crazy by 1990 the percentage reporting eight or more hours had fallen to 27 percent while the uh proportion getting five or less was up to 14 percent. so in that time frame it had doubled but i mean that was like 50 years in between mm -hmm. uh today a quarter are still getting eight plus hours but per but the percentage getting five or less has risen to 20%. So a lot of people are reporting getting uh, five or less hours of sleep, 20%. That's a large number. I can't, I can't even believe the amount of people who could still function at five or less hours of sleep. I mean, it looks like a majority are in the like seven to five, six, I guess. It seems like a lot of people are in that range. Yeah, and I'm going to throw up a, what is it, a graph right here to show you. Um, fewer Americans reported getting eight plus hours of sleep, and it will show you a breakdown by percentage. Like you mentioned, uh, six to seven hours um, is like the, the spot where a lot of people um, are. Mm -hmm. But then it's like on both sides of five or less, you have um, between 20 and 26 um five or less five or less and uh eight or more mm -hmm. so yeah it's a lot of people do land in that five uh six to seven hours but it is gradually growing to less than five hours of sleep per night um that's kind of crazy thinking about it i don't i honestly do not know how people function um with five hours or less per night i do think it has to do with necessity mm -hmm. maybe maybe it's like um if you like work 
maybe like a, a graveyard shift or something like that. You work at nights. It's always really difficult to get your sleep in. It's like very, very difficult. Yeah. And the thing is, too, that young women are least likely to get enough sleep. Women have been constantly less likely uh, than men to report getting enough sleep. The latest poll finds 36 percent of women, uh, 36 percent of women versus 48 percent of men say that they get uh, the sleep they need. Both figures represent sig significant declines from previous readings in 2013 and 2024 and the and are the lowest uh, uh, Gallup has measured uh, for each group to date. So, yeah, generally adults 65 and older are more likely than those who are younger to get the sleep they need. Um, this holds true across the trend. That said, the decline this year um, in getting as much sleep as needed holds for all age groups, though it is less uh, pronounced among young adults between uh, age between 18 and 29. All other groups show decline in excess of 10 percentage points. So older, older, older Americans, older people and younger people are getting the uh, more sleep than the people in between. But like I think you mentioned, I think it might be a work thing. I think it, people are just, uh, I was thinking about this, maybe have two jobs, maybe are working more. Maybe yeah. there could be a lot of factors that are happening there. Inflation. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have kids or something, they you could be definitely kept up late. People are having kids at an older age. Oh, actually, yeah, that is true. I'm thinking about it. Um, a couple more things. Younger women um, at 27% are much less likely than other age by gender groups to report getting adequate sleep. Younger men at 46% and older women at 44% are about equal likely to report getting adequate amount of sleep, while older men, as is typical, are more likely to do so with 51% getting the sleep they needed need in 2023. But these percentages, too, mm -hmm. are pretty low in comparison of getting the adequate amount of sleep needed. Here's a question. Are you able to just turn your brain off at night or are you just like constantly thinking? Because I feel like maybe these people are just, they can't like calm their brain down before going to bed. I could believe that. For me, it's like, I'm like, There's I mentioned this, it's like lights, lights out. out. Lights <laughs> out as soon as I hit the <laughs> pillow. But then I thought, it, KO'd. I, but I thought about this too. Maybe it's because I'm at such a sleep deficit that I'm able to fall asleep right away. Oh, you're just so tired all the time that you just pass out once i hit the pillow yeah and that's what i was thinking about because i feel I like even people that do have like sleep deficit like, i feel like they're still active brain hmm. that could be true I, yeah i believe that because i do know people who are who do say it's like oh at night it's like they can't fall asleep right away and it takes them like sometimes hours to fall asleep yeah i mean that would definitely cut into your sleep you're taking hours to fall asleep yeah but i do wonder i do wonder um uh, yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to know what they're thinking about. Or, I mean, either what they're thinking about or if these people are now using technology before they be go to bed. I know the whole thing of, like, a lot of people do use, like, social media or, like, Instagram or TikTok or rip t TikTok. Rip TikTok. <laughs> but um, they, they use that to, like, de-stress and, and like, all on your off time, you just, like, scroll through and, like, this kind of relax. Yeah. But then, like, that has been shown to, like, increase your brain you know, like activity. And so that'll probably make it more difficult to fall asleep, not relax you, relax you. So it might also be stress related. Be and because I of that, the social media? Uh, no, because of a lot of other factors. Uh, the social media also could play, could play a part in this, but it, like, you know, comparing yourself to others, doing, yeah. doing things like that. But the thing is, Americans are more stressed today uh, than three decades ago. And that could also play a, a large part because over the Definitely. past 30 years, the number of Americans who are stressed has been on a steady incline as, after a sharp drop in 2003. The most recent data shows that nearly half of all Americans, 49%, reported frequently experiencing experiencing stress up 16 points over the past two decades and the highest in um gallup's trend to date so that could also be playing a role in this because just as with sleep uh, there continues to be a gap in stress levels between uh women and men in the u.s the gap has fluctuated over time it's narrowest between 2004 2007 however mm -hmm. over the past six years the gap has grown um, in 2023, 53 percent of women reported frequently experiencing stress uh, compared to 45 percent of men. But those are like that is a high number. Both of those are really high numbers. And that could also play a part in 
the, that could also play a part with the sleep. If people are more stressed, maybe they can't sleep. Maybe yeah, like they're always thinking about the stress. Yeah, they're always thinking about the stress. They're thinking about things like that. Your work, um, what you're gonna do tomorrow? Like, what are you gonna wear tomorrow? What, what are you gonna do? Do I have all the stuff lined up? And then at, at that point, it's like, oh damn, it's two o'clock in the morning. I need sleep. I need sleep, and, I w- and they were worrying so much. But yeah, so the thing is, like, the implications is that Americans are sleeping less um, and are less satisfied with the amount of sleep. Uh, reports of frequently feeling stress are also on the rise, so it could like, m- potentially these two could be playing a part in each other. Uh, Gallup polling and other research shows a strong connection between sleep, stress, and overall health. Thus, the impact on of both of these trends on Americans' health um, could be substantial because you do need sleep. You yeah. do need, uh, you do need people like people do have a lot of stress already on their minds. Mm-hmm. Um, and it does affect the overall health. The thing is that it's a weird, uh, you know, like thing feeding into itself where like if you're stressed and then you're like, can't sleep. And then you're like, man, I'm stressed about not being able to sleep. So this, the lack of sleep and inability to sleep yeah. is giving you more stress and then you can't sleep. I've actually felt that before. You're like, stressed it, because you can't sleep? Yeah, there was. I think it's like when there's something big happening the next day and I can't mm-hmm. sleep. And I'm like, man, I need to sleep because I'm only getting, I'm only going to get th- this much hours and I need to sleep. And that's the days where I can't sleep. Yeah, but I would want to hear from our audience what they think about this. Do they feel like they're getting enough sleep? Do they feel like stress is on the rise? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you.